What's happening, people? We're back again. Episode 14 of Chat and Pony with Paddy the Baddy. Um, once again, we're sponsored by Flux Activewear. As you can see, I've got a Bell's a little jacket and a lovely t shirt on. My man Nate has also got some on himself. We're, we're, we're absolutely flexing, flexing today. Flexing the gear to today. Yeah, we nice are. One. We're proper flexing. So, uh, nice one to the firm over there. And, um, no, what be, I'll do, I'm going to say this before I get into it with you. Before okay, I introduce sounds. Nathan. <laughs> Just want to let everyone know, this is the original Paddy the Baddy channel. Like, this other YouTube, Paddy the Baddy clips. Get, unfollow it. Get it gone. Robbing me, robbing me shit. He's, he's taking money out me me dog's mouth. Food out me dog's <laughs> mouth. You know what I mean? Get him gone. Get on this channel. Let's subscribe. Let everyone know this is the real channel. Yeah, so anyway, episode 14. We are back. Yes, Introduce lads. yourself, Nate, lad. What's happening, everyone? I am Nathan Fletcher. I'm a professional MMA fighter from Paddy's Gym, obviously, Next Generation. Do you know what, lad? On that, I've been thinking all day because Chris keeps sending in the clip of Liam doing yeah. his introduction, lad. <laughs> <laughs> Going. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I've been You've thinking been all thinking day. I can't do can't that. Can't be doing that. You threw it on me, then I thought, wow, what am I going <laughs> to say? But no, yeah, I'm Nathan, obviously. Um, <laughs> pro MMA fighter, same gym as Paddy, Next Gen. And I'm fighting for the Cage Warriors world title next week. So. So pretty. I can't, now you've just mentioned that I can't stop thinking of Liam, Liam doing it, it lad. Oh, oh, oh six, lad, that. it's so funny. Like Chris lad. sends it in every day, yeah, every time Chris, I see it. Chris just keeps putting it in the group chats all the time, lad. That that's making me laugh so much every single time he puts it in. It just doesn't Brilliant. get old, lad. I know. Oh, oh shit. Class that. But yeah, fight. Well, we're gonna we're saying you're fighting for the Cage Warriors World Title next week. Yeah. But when this goes out, lad, it's gonna go out on like the day you weigh in or the day you fight. Okay, so, so in a couple of days, yeah. Yeah, so we'll have everyone get get involved, get watching. It's gonna either be tonight or tomorrow night. Yeah, depending on whether you're watching this fresh or old. <laughs> so get watching this fresh because uh, Nathan's fighting on. Uh, is it the Thursday the thirtieth? Yes, yeah, so a bit the... mad. It's obviously a Thursday night. It's gonna be the first time I've fought on a Thursday, so it kind of changes up my whole fight week. Route fight week routine yeah. like we were saying before I've started yeah. waterloading already today so that's a bit of a mad one but yeah Thursday the 30th of September and it's going to be on UFC Fight Pass um, obviously it's in the York Hall so if you're local get down buy yeah, a ticket actually, you know what I mean? actually allowed to have crowds again now which is great yeah. for the sport lad you need yeah. you need fans there even my one the other week lad even though there was only 100 people there you still hear people shouting. You still yeah. hear people wanting to. Still nice be to have that atmosphere. Yeah, yeah. It's nice because yeah. as you know, lad, we fought. Have you heard three times now? Three times now, lad. I yeah. fought twice with no crowd at all. Yeah, and it's just it's weird, shit, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it's, it's just, just weird, not the lad. same. I remember the first time I fought without a crowd, like walking out to the cage. I was so less. It's a weird one because obviously coming up, coming up to a fight, you're always amped up, aren't you, and yeah. hyped to get in there. But I didn't realise how much the crowd actually plays into that. Yeah. So when I got in the cage the first That's time, the same night I fought. No, this was the one in December. Oh, yeah, the Yeah, December the first one, one yeah. And uh, I got in, lad, and I just wasn't as switched on as I normally am because I just didn't have that, like, adrenaline going that you get that from the ground. Caught, you know that mean? punch. Yeah, that's when I got caught with that <laughs> one shot that's fucking dropped me in my whole career. <laughs> it was then because I weren't switched on. That fucking woke me up, like, so yeah. I was switched on after that, but I can't wait to be fighting back in front of a crowd. Yeah, it's going to be it's gonna be great, lad. Yeah. Oh, I cannot wait. But as we mentioned there, because we started talking about before, what a lot of people don't know about MMA is... Well, a lot of people know it more now, but casuals still don't understand it, dude. You can't wait. It's not about just getting in the fight and fighting. You can't wait to make way for your fight. And when you start waterloading like a week out and Nathan's drinking eight litres a day. Mm -hmm. So if you see him jump up at any point and like have to run off to the toilet, it's all right. He's coming back. He just, yeah. he just, he might piss himself sitting here. I've just... tried, I've tried to time it. So I've had, <laughs> I've drank four and a half litres so far, but I've not had a drink for about an hour now. So I've had a few pisses and I'm hoping that I can do this. Yeah, old, it's this cleared old out for yeah. a bit so you can do it. Yeah, yeah, know what you mean there, lad. My bed's the worst, lad. Just goes to the toilet once and I just like, need the toilet, need the toilet, yeah, need the toilet. I'm like, oh, I swear it. My mate Wade's the same though, lad. What, lad you constantly pissing? And he's, he, lad, yeah, you're a girl, Wade. Uh, people uh, that need to go to toilet that much of girls, lad. Like, yeah. The, well, it's the exception for us on this week, yeah, obviously. Yeah, this week, but lad, I can, I can hold my piss for yeah. hours, mate. Yeah, I know like, I can need a piss. And you want like, it when you're like in bed at night and you half need a piss Yeah, you I just roll back over. Yeah. yeah. Just can't but, be lad, I'm moving. not getting up to go to the toilet, lad, and disturbing no, me sleep. I just exactly. roll back over and hold it. Lad, if I'm falling asleep, like not even falling asleep, but I'm lying there and I'm comfy and I'm thinking, I need a piss, yeah. I'll just blank it out. Yeah. Well, nah, I don't. It's I just fucking winds you up, don't it? Yeah. It's horrible. I just yeah. go with sleep, lad. Yeah. You piss yourself in the night. No, don't piss myself, lad. <laughs> Not that yeah, old. Your body yeah, wakes yeah. up again, and if you actually need it that bad in the night, you'll just go. Yeah. 
Oh I'd, I've had dreams before where I'm like playing footy and I, re- I just remember this one mad enough that you've said that. Like you run over to the sideline and I started pissing in my dream, just having like a piss in the bushes, having a kickabout. And then I've woke up and fully needed a piss. I've yeah. not, I mean, not been pissing, but no, needed one. I have one. done that, where yeah. I've actually pissed on myself in my dream, yeah. lad. Yeah. Fucking hell. I've done that. I can't remember when it was. It was when I was in my Mars. Um, my bear was next to me as well, funnily enough. Fucking something in my dream, lad. I was doing something. I can't, lad, my memory's that bad. I can't remember. I was doing something in my dream. And I went and had a piss. Yeah. And I, like I went, and only a little bit, I went, shit, a little bit come out. Yeah, yeah, a little bit come out. I had to run the fucking bog and have a piss, lad. Must have needed one that bad. I Mad was on. dreaming about going on the toilet. When do you ever dream about going to the toilet? Like? When you need a piss, obviously. Yeah, that's yeah. It. Just, just when you need a piss, that's it. Other yeah. than that, you're having all mad funky ones. Yeah, well, yeah, fucking hell. Oh, great, you know. Love it. But I want to get talking about your career, lad, because you're 7 and 0 pro now. I'm 6 what? and 0. 6 and 0. I will be 7 well, and 0. You're going to be 7 and 0. Yeah. We'll be 7 and 0 in two days if you're watching this yeah. when it comes out. So it's, You're going you're gonna to be 7 and 0, lad. Yeah. Just, I had you fought better people than this kid. Yeah, hundred percent. The last kid you fought was better than was than the Italian was. Oh, Bulan, yeah. yeah, that's what Paul was saying to me the other day. Like it would have made more sense for me title fight to be against Bulan yeah, than would've. Woodin because no, he's would've. at least fought on cage royals. Yeah. He's fought for the belt before, stuff like that. But obviously, like the opponent doesn't matter to me. Next no, it week doesn't. To, yeah, the goal is the cage royals title, and as it it has been that since I started coming to next year. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so, um. I'm just so excited. I can't wait to get in there now and fucking fight for my belt and bring it back to the gym and it'll be the fifth one we'll have yeah, had. Yeah, the fifth one. We'll have a full cabinet full now. Yeah. So we're going to have to get another cabinet oh, no. for when the next the next crop will come. Uh, we're going to have to get a lot more space for yeah, the fucking we are for belts world titles that. that are going to be coming in our oh, gym no. in the next few years. It's going to so. be heavy. Yeah. Lad, thinking about it with a crowd, you, Mufti, and this kid, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to be able to help myself but scale the fence, you know. I don't want you to. Like, I'm going to scale the fence for you. I'm going to look for you. I'm going to dive over. <laughs> I've said to all my mates, you need to rush the, rush the cage as soon as I finish him, like, because I'm jumping over. Do yeah. you know what I mean? It's going off, lad. Yeah. It is. It's perfect timing, like, the first fight back with crowds, and it's my title fight. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Because so, you cut, bring a nice little crowd, would you, lad? Yeah. I, do you know what? This one, obviously, the is. South Port man them. Yeah, the South Port man them. They do. <laughs> the boys turn up, like, they but, do. Especially this one, it's a Thursday night in London. Obviously, it's a bit of a mission for like yeah. everyone to come from Southport and that. And uh, but I'll do I'll get a nice little turnout. I reckon I'll do about seventy. Well, I was about seventy people will come. I was going to say I'll do seventy tickets then, but we're not getting any. We're not getting any tickets, are we? For this one, everyone's oh just no, got, no, we're yeah. buy them online. Like, to buy them online. So no commission for me there, heavy. But you listen to this cage warriors. Uh, you need, oh no, you need sort to it be out. A yeah. be a <laughs> There's been more incentive for me to do yeah. a few more tickets of there. Of course but, it is, but you know, no, it is what it is. I understand. Obviously, it's their first time back having a crowd and that, so they just want it all to run smooth and yeah. put the tickets all in one place. So I understand, but yeah, like I said, lads, perfect timing, title fight. All my mates are going to be there. Crowds are back. And it's just going to be heavy. And I'm going to jump over the fence when I win and get in the mix with everyone. It's going to be proper heavy, lad. Who else is fighting the same night as you? Uh, Liam Malloy's fighting the same night as me Liam now. Liam Malloy's just got a short notice fight. He's and Wilson. He must be someone. Yeah. And Wilson. Yeah. Wilson's, Wilson's fighting, fighting a kid a... from my, the kid I'm fighting's gym as well. Is so he? both our opponents are from that um, GB top team, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, so that'd be nice. Go two and zero against them. That Wilson night. needs to get one back then, doesn't he, lad? Yeah, definitely because his last fight yeah, was his against last them fight as well. Last fight against one of them, and he lost, lad. So yeah, we're watching you, Wilson. <laughs> You'll get it done, <laughs> yeah. lad. He's looking he's sharp. He is, lad. He's yeah. been training hard. This camp, like, give him his due, and he looks yeah. fucking sharp, lad. So oh, lad, I just can't wait for this. And then the next night, too, we got Cullen, Cullen, Gittins, Gittins and uh, Luke, Riley Luke Riley making his pro his debut, debut as well, lad. Which yeah. is gonna be nice. It's gonna be a good two nights of action, that you know. It's going to be a next gen takeover, lad. Like all well, the lad, trilogies said, have been. The, the UFC, lad, we went 2 0. Yeah. The Almighty, we went 4 0. Yeah. And now we're all to go 6 0. Exactly. And we're going to go for a big heavy Jim yeah. Scoff the week later, oh, lad. lad. But we're nice. Perfect, innit? We are, lad. We're going to go 6 0, lad. I've got the feeling in my bones, lad. I have. I think in the minute was we're unstoppable, to be honest, yeah. lad. Do you know what I mean? You look at the momentum we're carrying, and I think it's, it's literally since the last Cage Warriors, even the one in March that we both fought on, yeah. the team all smashed it that night. Um, but then you've had. Bonner winning his world title yeah. in June and then you and Molly absolutely stealing the show in Vegas and then now we've got this we had Almighty the other night we've got this trilogy coming up we're just carrying so much momentum yeah, into it, all these shows and the gym's just flying it's at heavy. the minute so it's a good time to be part of Next Gen like. it is it's always been a good time to be part of Next Gen though oh, lad to be fair yeah over the years lad there's been a good few crops of fighters lad like even before me before yeah. I even joined the gym yeah there was like your, your Paul Sass 
And then there was even like your Jason Sands and that before that. Weren't it's all there? well before my time. Yeah. I don't have a clue half them are, to be honest. But it's like, like all people it's like all down that. to Rimmer, isn't it, really? Yeah, it is. He's the main man. Yeah. I, I, I compared Rim to Joel Matterblad the other day because he's like the most underrated coach in yeah. UK MMA history of all time. Mad that though, I don't, I don't understand mad, why he doesn't I, get... I can pay him to Matip because, lad, when you look at our back four, Matip, yeah. Van Dijk, Robbo and Trent, yeah. no one speaks about Matip at all, lad. Just gets overlooked. He just gets overlooked yeah. because of Van Dijk, Robbo and Trent. Everyone yeah. talks about them. Yeah, yeah. And then, like, that's what Rim's like, lad. I'm not going to try and blag him properly into fussy there, by the way, and be like, yeah, he gets yeah. overlooked. <laughs> I don't have a clue. Lad, yeah, no yeah. one really talks about Matip, lad. Because yeah, you enough. probably know that because you probably don't even know who he is. But, you know... When you said you it, know, lad, I had to think who the fuck's that. Yeah. <laughs> you know Trent, Robbo and Van yeah. Dijk, though, yeah, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Exactly, yeah. There's that, you've just yeah. proved me points yeah. in one go. Fair you play, Because you don't really like footy, well, don't really watch footy. You don't know who Matip is, but you know Van Dijk, Robbo and Trent. That, yeah, exactly. That's what Rim's like on the UK MMA scene, lad. Mad though, because he obviously deserves well more credit than he what he gets. He deserves well more recognition than what he gets, lad. But yeah. it's one of them, innit? Yeah. Like we probably all deserve a bit more recognition for what we've what we've done. Yeah. But only the certain few get it, don't they? Exactly. Yeah. But we're not our star, we, no, we, we know, we know what lad. we're doing. We know where we're all going. We're, so. we're, we're coming, lad. We're coming. Yeah. It's ah. Oh. People don't understand, lad. I've been saying in all these, even in these UFC interviews, and I was like, listen, in the next like three to four years we're gonna have it like five or six fighters in the yeah, UFC, in the UFC like, yeah. that's what's coming yeah and like it's like li- literally yeah like that's what's coming from our gym it literally is, it's, it's, there's no way it's not gonna happen lad because obviously we've got all the talent there all the lads coming through now we're all bit the likes of me do you know what I mean Cullen Wilson all Gittins, Gittins. All, we're all at that level now where we're not far off do you know what I mean yeah. there's a few more fights for each of us and you've got like Ben and Connor Wilson exactly yeah Liam Malloy so, I mean Connor Wilson like he's still so early on in his career yeah. but he's world class now yeah. like, do you know what I mean and like then so Luke Riley's having his pro yeah. debut soon there's so many you forget lad, you feel our last not saying all yeah. the lads names you feel but, our last yeah. lad, you forget you don't even yeah. remember half of them lads. that's what I mean so much talent coming through it's, the gym it's ridiculous lad. and now lads with the platform you've got do you know what I mean you're just going to pave the way for us all to that's, come through behind So I know that that's coming lad yeah. that is what is coming lad in the next couple of years lad we're going to have multiple UFC signed athletes Yeah, but it's all rim deserves lad yeah. and obviously Ellis and Ven yeah. lad and the other Definitely. coaches lad yeah. it's all they deserve lad million percent for years, lad, being coaching people and getting people to do well, but yeah, now lad, this is the best team we've ever had. Hundred percent, yeah. Like even obviously the, the like the last like team we had, which was like Fishy, Danny Roberts, Rosie, me, Ellis, I don't yeah. know what I mean. Yeah, all yeah. Them. Like this team is just better than it, lad. Yeah, it just is, lad. Even I think though, we've evolved as well because MMA's obviously. Yeah, MMA's obviously evolved, and like yeah. Rim's evolved as a coach. Where yeah. so as L L was on the team then. Where yeah. now he's just a coaching. perfect coaching yeah. role, and he yeah, he the, slotted right into yeah, that. Slotted and, right yeah, slotted right into it perfectly, lad. Yeah, it's funny, lad. There was we've been reading an Almighty the other day. I was just watching other coaches watch Ellis's warm up. Yeah, you know what I mean. When Try to steal all his bits. Yeah, yeah. all coaches just like that watching Ellis warm up. Yeah, it's like yeah. You know who the boy is. <laughs> Glad they do as well. And Ellis, another one, like Paul, you say obviously doesn't get enough recognition. Ellis. Yeah. For me, he gets no recognition really, does no, he? he? And doesn't. like, he's an absolute genius, lad. And he's played a massive part in my growth as a fighter, do you know what yeah. I mean, over he's the last few with, years. With everyone in the gym, yeah. lad. Yeah. Like, he's not really the assistant head coach no more. He no. is. They're a team, aren't coach, they? Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Definitely. Him and yeah. Paul are head coach. Yeah. And then like Adam and Sai are like assistant coaches. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, but, definitely. Ellis and Paul are the head coaches. Exactly. What a heavy coaching staff that is as well, though. Do you know what yeah, I mean? All four is. of them all working together, lad. No wonder we're getting the results that yeah. we are now. And then you've got Carl Mountfield, lad, just on the on the, the, the breakdowns. Yeah, absolute genius again. And then Paul Reed and like you've got Peak. Yeah. We've all got our own nutrition down. Yeah. Like back then, lad. My nutrition was absolutely abysmal. I can imagine some of the weight cuts you used to do that. When lad. I first come to the gym. Probably about, about, about five years, five and a half years ago now, and you were doing some mad weight cuts at that time, yeah. like cutting like 8K in that overnight. Lad, doing disgusting ones. Yeah. Like, I was probably biting your head off, lad, when you were brand new in the gym, asking me a question. <laughs> yeah. Like, I used to be you bad, lad. Well, I, used to, lad yeah. I was biting people's heads off, and that way, I didn't even mean it. It was just, yeah. as you know, weight That's cut week, feel, lad. Yeah. And you just, yeah. you've got nothing in you, lad. Yeah. But, like, you know the way, like, weight cut weeks is a week. Yeah. When I was on them cuts, lad, it was like three, four weeks wake up week. Yeah. Like that was, was your main focus was losing yeah, the weight. I was not... eating like twelve hundred calories tops. Fucking hell. And then still doing my sessions. Yeah. And drinking loads of water to flush my system. Mad. Lad, it was absolutely disgusting, all that, you know. Yeah. That's so just glad. like so glad as you say, 
said before, the sport's evolved. Yeah. And that's another thing it's evolved with. Yeah. And it's so I'm so happy it did, lad, because I used to kill yourself. Kill to myself. Yeah. Like, and I was when I on that the deck the results of that deck just kind of did nearly kill myself. I like, missed that in it. Like, and then the next day you're competing in. And then the next day I done fight. five fives. Yeah. The next night I done five fives, lad. So that's when it'd be like your peak condition, like biggest fight of your life at the time, like yeah. build up to that, and you've had to like basically near kill yourself like you've said to make the day the weight, before and then the, on the night of the fight and lad. you still went 5-5 five five, so yeah. was still that the Arosa went, fight was that no that was the Nad one. Oh, was it the yeah, Nad one yeah I was lost yeah. still went 5-5 five fives like do you know in fact yet yeah, the Arosa one I, I cut over a key but yeah. the Nad one's the one where I actually got the Dexas scan. yeah because the Arosa you took like, like late notice didn't you yeah you that, was, that was just four weeks prepared. out yeah as you know lad, I don't say no to fights lad, so no, when, exactly, that got, yeah. when that got through at me I just said yeah even though I got the phone call I didn't even get the phone call with that one. As I say, I was I was in a cave in Wales yeah. with all decks on and a Jenny and that. I was eating crisp and that. As yeah. I got the phone call, I was standing there eating a chocolate bar and a crisp. Mad than four the phone weeks. call off one of my mates. I was bladdered as well. Yeah. Bladdered. I was on the phone. So he's like, lad, just watching the cage while he's here. You're, you're fighting that rose, aren't you? He was like, am I, yeah? Am I, yeah? <laughs> sound, oh. lad, sound, that. And like... It had been spoke about, but I didn't know I was fighting. And then obviously, I'd, from that Monday we got to work, I had like 26 days or something Mad. to lose. Yeah, How did. much, yeah? 26 days to lose, like 19, 20 key. Fuck me. That's like me trying to make weight now. As you can see, I'm a fat bastard. Uh, from um, that it is, isn't it? Literally, so you're literally getting down that, to yeah, lightweight like now. It's like you getting down to lightweight weeks. now in four weeks. And you probably Less still do it to rare. be fair, but it's, it's obviously not healthy in the no, best way. No, it'd be way a to... killer, lad. It'd be yeah. an absolute killer. As everyone keeps commenting on me, shit, lad, Paddy the Fatty, and yeah, that. I'm like, lad. yeah, yeah. I, en- I enjoy being fat. Yeah, you know what I mean. I do. I'd rather be fat and happy than ripped and miserable, miserable twenty four seven eating fish and a rice cake. Yeah. But lad, like I was saying this yesterday, I eat these people that are just in shape twenty four seven all year round. Lad, go and enjoy your life. Yeah. You you don't enjoy that. No. Stop going on like fun. you enjoy living that lifestyle because you're dying for a cookie dough. Yeah. See, with me, like, what's mad is I actually stay half lean year round. Yeah, you always stay lean. But I eat shit. I've just got a good metabolism. I'm just you've lucky. Got a, Do you know what I mean? It's weird with you, that, lad. You yeah. have got a heavy metabolism. Yeah. Because- Nah, you eat shit, lad, but you don't do it like I do. No, but I don't think anyone does it like you do, <laughs> let's be honest. <laughs> be hard to, hard to compete with that, like... But listen, I used to think I put away the chockey and then I met you and I realised, <laughs> lads, I don't put away the chockey anywhere near as much as I thought. Like uh, Chocolate's one of my worst. That's what I mean when I end up doing this 15,000 calorie challenge, lad. Yeah. I reckon I'll, I'll eat a bar, eight big bars or something. That's yeah. about 4,000 calories, lad. That's Maybe it. more. You'll put that away and easy. that's easy. Yeah. yeah. I had four whisper golds as a thousand calories. Yeah, I'd do eat, that. Like, I could do four whisper lad, golds. Lad, I can eat easy. 10 whisper golds, lad. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just a piece of piss. I love Whisper Golds, like, speaking lad, about it now, lads, lad, lads, I've got this fight next week. Lad, oh. Rim's been telling me these hazelnut ones. Yeah. These hazelnut, hazelnut ones. Whisper Golds? Yeah. Damn I haven't lads. seen any. Chris sent me on the other night as well. What colour's the packet? Like, it's like white or something? It, no, or... it's it's purple, but yeah. it's got weird. It's gold. It's got green. Oh, okay. But, lad, Rim said it's half like a Nutella Whisper Gold. Yeah. And I was oh, like, yes. Yeah. Lad, I need to try one. That sounds lad. heavy. Like, Nutella Plus. inside. Yeah. So, has it got caramel or just hazelnut chocolate? I think it's inside? just hazelnut chocolate instead of caramel. <laughs> that sounds that heavy. That sound, yeah. lad. You have to get some of them. Get, get older, some of them. Get some, lad, I'll get some of them on the way to the hotel. I'm yeah. thinking, yo. Be nailing them after me fight. Yeah. 100%. Because I'm coming I'm coming when you weigh in as well. So yeah. You have a little sneaky one. <laughs> <laughs> Might do, lad. Before, yeah. A little bit. Look, yeah, one lad, more hit, will it? Lad, I'm going to smash that when I end up doing it, that 15k challenge, you know. Easy. Lad, I've especially seen like you said with that much chocolate lad the way you can yeah, do the chocolate like right? I've, I've seen Arnold Allen's one if you haven't seen it go and have a look he's belted Arnold um, he does 10k in a day does he yeah but like he has I think he has a Mac he's a Burger King a Tesco meal deal yeah uh, he loves his meal deals yeah, he loves Arnold his Allen, meal deals yeah. lad a Domino's a big Cinnabon and in the morning he has these big massive pancakes with loads of syrup yeah but like if that was me there I'd probably get my birds doing me a big heavy Brecky, like I yeah. normally have with like four Cook sausage, brecky, yeah. six bacon, hash brown, four hash brown, yeah. three egg, one bread and two fried bread, yeah. tomatoes, beans. That's a thousand that. calorie there, easy, isn't it? Easy. Over, probably. Over a thousand yeah. calories. Nice. You know what I mean? That's like, just warming you up, that, that's, yeah, that's just starting that's the just day. A, that's lad, just a normal brecky for Paddy, that like, lad, when nothing we, different. When we was in Cornwall, lad, my beard, like, I'd been given loads of these cakes, 
I think it's cakes by Lizzie. They were belters, lads. You give me a big box and a six box, a six pack of cupcakes. Yeah. And lad, I had my bear was doing brekkie. I was nailing brekkie. And then lad, I was just going over to this box and, and eating pure shite, lad. Yeah. Right after my brekkie, I was eating like a cupcake. Um, was this in Cornwall? You said? Yeah, in yeah, Cornwall, yeah. lad. And I was there, I was eating like a cupcake. Yeah. I had a brownie one day just standing there. Yeah. And she gave me these mad little things that were like cupcakes, but it was like chocolate. And then, like, a kinder bueno inside in the middle. You get on me licking your lips, dead lad. Listen, right, it's, yeah. it's just thinking right. about it. She wanted it, no way, they, they, they give it in, like, a cup, and it's all, like, cake layered yeah, with icing yeah, and then yeah. cake, lad. Hey. I was just standing there eating them in the daytime, lad. My bed's looking at me going, you're disgusting. Like, oh, get ordering two main meals of a night. No, what it is, though, people listen to this and they want to be like, why, why is he such a greedy bastard? They don't understand. No, exactly. Unless you're a fighter, you don't understand. Unless you're a fighter, you'll never get it. Because it's like, sometimes you don't even want to eat that much shit after your fight, but you know, in your head, you're thinking, I'm going to be cutting weight again in like a few months' time and I won't be able to eat this then. So I'm going to get it in now. Exactly. Because after this, I know there's going to be a time when I'm sat there thinking, I should have had more Whisper Golds. Yeah. I should have had more cupcakes. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? Exactly. So you've you got to get it in while you can. Why I eat more when I could? Exactly. Like, Lord is going to me, you defo feel sick now. And I'm going, I actually don't, you know, because I don't like, no. I don't, I actually hardly ever feel sick when I get bloated. Like, I don't even have to get bloated anymore. I no. wish I got bloated because it'd stop me eating. Yeah. But like, that used to it now. I think since my fight, I've got bloated twice. Yeah. Like, but Laura always goes to me, how, how, how can you still eat? How are you still eating? But like, people who have been out eating food with over the last few weeks have been like, lad, how are you still hungry? eating? Yeah. How are you still hungry? What are you doing still eating? I went for a gusto the other night, lad, with uh, all my mates from my ours and lad. All starters got brought over. I ordered. I ordered two mains for myself and yeah. another main to have half each with Sam because we were. There was, so it was two and a half mains. Yeah, nice. But then other people didn't finish theirs, and I finished so all theirs off. Like, yeah. We got loads of starters as well. Some people were chatting; they were full after starters. <laughs> Fucking hell! And then we got the the bill, and then me and me and little Rusty went. What is it? Go on then. Yeah, I got a sticky toffee pudding. Boss. He's a he's a veggie, so we got a little ve- vegan biscoff yeah. cake. And um, e. but lad, we walked out there, gusto on the dock, walked towards like t- back towards the pool one lad. I went no way, the way I always burp. Yeah, I went like <clears throat> to get a burp out, no that. Yeah, and lad, I didn't burp, and like I just started feeling <laughs> my stomach going. Oh, I was like, I'd start getting all water in my mouth. Just turned to, turn to mass and just went, lad, I'm gonna spew. Spat the water out, went. <laughs> Lad, it was the big gates by the docks. No, we go into the you docks. You never spewed there, did you? Was that full? Oh my god! Lad, we'd only had about three pints, lad, and like they brought us this mad shot over. Yeah, lad, wasn't wasn't drunk or not? No. Literally, it was food. just that full, lad. Yeah. But I walked out and like lifted me top up and went, lad, look at that! I'm <laughs> fucking hell, pal. Lad, lad. I got to the front gate, but like the front gate gate of the docks, and literally went. Lad, I'm gonna spew, man. I had to just turn and just spewed on the floor, lad. You sick, man. Lad, sweet, disgusting, lad. Yeah. I, I ate at yourself that, sick. I ate that much that I spewed up, lad. Mad. That's some accomplishment. That it like, is, lad. It really? Like that's the f- and like since since that on Sunday, I've been eating, but I haven't been eating as much. Yeah, well, maybe that's what you needed, lad. To it have, is, yeah. Make you think. Ah, okay. I might slow down now. It's gotta be on it. That's the, the off-putting thing. With that, I suppose most people that's like with ale in it, and they have too much ale. Yeah. One night they spew it, and then they're like, "Oh, I'm not drinking again." Yeah, I'm not drinking again. Never they're out the next weekend. Yeah, they're but, out the next weekend. But yeah, that's you with the food now, lads. It, well, you're doing so, well today. You said you only had 700 calories. I've only today. had 700 today so far, like yeah. And I took me macro chef stuff to Alton Towers yesterday. So nice. So you're but, lad, I didn't end up eating. I ended up eating something later on in the day in Alton Towers. Like we, uh, where I said the car broke down. Well, it didn't break down. We got there, but then. Yeah, Arnold Clark, I'm looking at you. <laughs> selling selling me bear the snid car. I'll be in tomorrow. Well saying that this is gonna be past tense by then. I'll be, You'll have been so, in. I'll have been in. Yeah, yeah. I'll have been in with it. Um But we got there, but we had to wait for the AA to come. Well, someone's come and look at the car when we got out of the car park. To, for when we got back to the car. So that we were still like me at Bear had it up on the phone where it says they've they've left and that. They hadn't. So I was sitting looking at this donut stall. I like, get on this for daylight robbery. Like, I've got to tell you this. I've got to go into detail on this. Go on. It said one donut. One, you know what I mean? The sugary donuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One donut, one thirty. Right. Six donuts, six quid. Right. Okay. I mean, five donuts, yeah. six quid. Ten donuts, seven quid. 
How does that make any sense? They're just doing it to make you buy the ten. Obviously, I bought the ten. Like, I'm not, yeah. I'm not getting bumped on the others. I bought Sick. the ten, and then like two little tubs of chocolate sauce. What were like seven peach something? How big are the donuts? Could you eat? Did you eat all ten? I ate seven. Okay, lower nice. than these uh, five. So I ate right. seven, and I ate most of the chocolate in the tubs. Yeah, nice. And then did well, you? I mean, yeah. You won it. Lad, I know when I gaffed by ours last night on Pilty called Shakeout. I should have seen the burger, lad. Heavy. Quadruple burger it was. Oh, I remember you saying before, lad, yeah. It's called the Quattro. If you go there, get it. Don't be a little mushroom and get the single burger. Don't be Even flapping Even the it. double burger. Don't don't be a bitch ass. Get the quadruple burger. Go in. There's the, the only way to do it is to do it properly. And a milkshake and that, of course. But, lad, there's quadruple burger. Four patties, four layers of cheese. Yeah. Ah, oh, lad. And some ch- boneless chicken wings it's on the sick, side. It's a bit sick, in it? I just love talking about this food I now, knowing I can't eat any of it it's until funny, after the fight. But... Like the, the podcast with Molly's got the most views, and literally all we spoke about in that was food. Well, that was right before your own air that fight. Was right it? Before, that was like three weeks before our so fight. So it's like all you want to talk about. Yeah. It's mad. But like that just shows you what a fat cunt I am. Yeah. Because I've fought <laughs> now and ate everything, and I'm still, still sitting going here on about food. talking about food to yeah. you who's weighing in in fucking five days. That's it. When was your fight? Like three weeks ago? Three, four yeah. weeks ago. Well, what days are we on now? Yeah. 24th was on the 4th, so it was 20 days ago. 20 days, yeah. That's enough. Yeah, you can still be enjoying your food 20 days lad, after your fight. I need to lose a bit of weight though, lad. Like when I was at the match the other day, it's not. Lad, if it just went across my body evenly, yeah. I wouldn't be asked. All in the cheeks, yeah. Isn't it, were you? yeah. But I look like a chipmunk, lad. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just unfortunate lad, and it goes to your face. It goes lad. To my, like, Vent is a little bit heavier than me. Yeah. But Vent doesn't look fat. He's got big legs and yeah, arse, he's got big he? legs and arse. Big like juicy arse on him. Little duck arse, Vent. Yeah. But, uh, lad, it just goes to my face, lad, and I look huge. You know what it is as well, like you said before, like people don't really realise how much we cut to get down yeah. to, to the weight classes that we fight at. So you in the cage looking all ripped and lean and skinny in the face, that's you right shrunk down yeah. to your smallest weight. Yeah, so it now it looks obviously mad seeing your difference. They're like, how's oh, his face I that know, fat when he looked like that? Thinking about it, a lot of people have only just got on me from that yeah. last week. So they but think that's I, not I what, you, you like only look like that for like a week. I look like, that, week, uh, yeah, you know I look I mean? like that a few weeks a year. Yeah. You know what I mean? Your normal self isn't actually that much No, it's not. worse like, than, well, no, you're not much well, better I'm, than what I'm you not, are now. Like. I'm looking like Chris Griffin at the minute. Like, you know what I mean? My cheeks are huge, lad. Chris When people are asking me for pictures, lad, at the match, the other day I noticed that at the match lad people asking me for certain, it's selfies yeah like normal pictures don't look that bad but lad when someone gets a selfie with me and I look at their phone I am like oh my god they go like that and I'm like at the angle like, <laughs> I'm smiling like this yeah and, and I go from this to I can you see your cheeks pop up I can feel me cheeks oh, all lad. the way up in my face so I don't do as big a smile so if anyone's wondering why I haven't been going Big cheesy grin for you is the last, the last <laughs> you don't week or two. Fat. It's because I don't want to look too fat. That's sick. Rather than <sighs> miserable, just not even smile. Yeah. Oh, that's slimmer. heavy. The best, the best one I've seen, though. I've seen a little meme, um, and it was one of them was... Because they see people calling me Prince Charming because of after me fight. Off, I started off, getting called Prince Charming off, off Shrek. Shrek. Yeah, Because yeah. after me fight, like, where the old... You know what it's like, like the Vaseline on your face? Yeah. I just done that to get me hair out my face. Yeah. And, like, I've done that. And people were saying I look like Prince Charming because of it. Big middle parting on you yeah. or something, yeah. And um, and then, lad, see, someone done a meme, fight night. And then the next one was two weeks later, and it was a picture of the Gizzard Roar. Uh, Gizzard Roar. That kid. Yeah, off so, Shrek again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. two things off Shrek, you know what I mean? It's Prince Charming, then he's the Gizzard Roar Do kid two weeks kid, later. Yeah. But, lad, people think that that happened over weeks, lad. I no. was there, My face looked like this on the Tuesday. Yeah. Like, that's how fast it goes back on. That's how fast it goes yeah. back on, lad. Like, yeah. As I was saying, I think I said that on last week's episode, lad. I had a Popeyes, a Shake Shack, and a Dairy Queen all in the one night yeah, after Popeyes. the Popeyes? Yeah. In Vegas, you had in that, Vegas, yeah. yeah. Never had one of them. In one day. Like, heavy. Just there. Yeah. It was, it was yeah. Heavy. The chill nice. heavy. Yeah. That's, that's the one probably, DC does his little thing yeah. for, it, when he's yeah. got the chicken I'd wings. I'd probably yeah. rather have a KFC, though, to be honest. Would like you, yeah. The biscuits were dry. I says, thought, get lad, them biscuits there. American Scrant. Like you always think it'd oh, be dead heavy, like all the candy and that they have yeah. over there. You like go over chocolate shite compared to shite. It, isn't it? Cho- it's all got all mad shit in. Yeah. Just give me a chocolate Not into bar. It. Yeah, they don't even they hardly have any like Capri's, did they? Yeah. Or they don't even like, have like whispers I think, or I think Galaxy over there is called Dove, or is that a different country that's called Dove? Uh, is it? Dove. It's yeah. Dove, isn't it? Yeah. And lads. They have all ma- they just like Mars they bars all, everywhere. Yeah, they have shite, all ma- like a Milky Way a Milky Way over there is a Mars bar, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, a Milky oh, okay. their, their Milky Way. What else was there? Butter 
They all peanut butter oh, stuff in it. They love, yeah. yeah, they love the Reese's yeah, over we love there. The, like, I love me Reese's. Though. I don't mind Reese's. It's not my go-to. Butterfingers or something they called. Snide, I think. Really. Yeah, Hershey's isn't the best. Yeah. Butterfingers. Is it a Butterfinger or something? What, like a chocolate bar oh, over the there? Twinkies. Not the Twinkies, but like Ella sport one lad on the way home. Yeah. I, I can just remember the wrapper. It was like blue and silver. Or is it a Musketeer? A Musketeer bar. Anyway, they're chocolate shy compared to ours, lad. It is. Really like, is, lad. I was disappointed when I went to America, like, and all the chocolates. I, just... I can say, though, the Chris selection that they have is ridiculous. Better, yeah. They have a ridiculous... It's just ridiculous, the selection Like what, like all nachos and that? Like all the, the mad different flavour Chris they have, lad. Just yeah. have all... Lo- it's... They have too many choices. I'm not a big Chris man anyway, I'm to not. be fair. I prefer Chocky. If I'm going to have like a sweet thing after me scran. But it's funny, my bird used to love ch- crisp and not really like chocolate. Yeah. And now she loves chocolate because of me, obviously. Of you, yeah, it's your influence, yeah, lad, innit? Yeah. Have, I'm terrible, lad. They my bird. Like whole aisles of Oreos in like a million different flavors. Yeah, yeah, all different weird yeah. Oreos. Again, Oreo, I'm not the biggest fan I know, of Oreos. I know, I'm not the biggest Oreo yeah. fan. I'd rather have proper chocolate. Yeah. yeah. Same, like, like a little biscuit in it, Oreo. It's like, like, I, I, like I, low calorie Oreos, aren't they? That's what they. I'm <laughs> sure it's like a low calorie biscuit for like one of them, but yeah, I'm not into them. I, I, I love cookies, but now since like the invention of warm cookie dough come out, oh lad, lad. Do you remember those uh, cookie pies that I got after it that March? Yeah, break? do you remember you ended up getting a few, didn't you as well? Yeah. Or someone? Lad, they them, are unreal. Them cookie, that's what I mean. In that box I had through the week, there was yeah. two slices of cookie pie cookie in it. Pie, lad, when heavy. I said about them boxes, lad. One had six cupcakes in. One had two of them in a cup things. I had a chocolate bar and three brownies. Yeah. Two big slices of cookie, cookie dough pie. pie. Yeah. Four of them cu- chocolate cupcake things. Yeah. I had four or something else and two or something else. And lad, my bird never had any of them. In fact, sorry, my bird had half a brownie. Yeah. And the only other thing she had out of it was when I was eating the cookie dough pie, she'd go give some of that. Yeah. And just have a few full. Do you heat that cookie dough up? And yeah. Put, yeah. And put a bit of ice cream yeah. with it. Yeah. Gotta be done. Gotta, lad. Heavy. D- lad, sausage man, Chris. <laughs> sausage man. Yeah, lad, the sausage man, Chris, was eating them cold, lad. Was he, yeah? Yeah, we ain't warming them up. I was going, lad, what are you doing? You're doing, Chris, lad. Exactly. Sort it out. Like, yeah. You've got the got South Port them man them on your back here and everything, lad, because no, that's not on that, Chris. It isn't. Until I warmed her up and showed him that you warmed her up, he was like, what? It's like, it's so much messing? nicer, isn't it, lad? Or oh, when it's all melted, oh, lad. When I get them boxes there. off me, because every every time I fight me bird, always orders me a box or whatever. Yeah. Like, the thing is, what pisses me off is I take them back to mine, and all my brothers and my sister are in the box. I'd eating all my shit. Yeah. So that's... then you come, I come with a box of loads. You've seen it on my stories before. Yeah. Them on, don't you I? Stash them, I'm thinking that's me for the next few days. I think like two days, all my family's been on them eating them all. I'm there going, these are for me. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But they're like, you fat cunt. It's fucking. There's See, a that's of... a good. Re- that's why you half stay in shape then as well. Like, yeah, everyone else is yeah. eating the shit with, it, with me, lad. No one else is eating my shit, lad. Yeah. I've got my own house now and my beard, lad. So yeah. no one else is eating that shit. It's only it's when I take you. it around to people's houses and like offer them some that yeah. they get some. Yeah, but I, I wouldn't even... mind that if I was offering it out, but they have to just take it without yeah. asking, lad. And I'm thinking, this is meant to be for me. I'm the one who fought. Do you know what I mean? I yeah, lad, know what? Like last, lad, last time, as you know, when I fought in March, lad, about yeah. six different cake pages. Got on you. Delivered me stuff. Yeah. And lad, I had too much, lad. I had to like share the wealth. Yeah. Know what I mean? Yeah. But this time, it's I not know. a bad problem to have that. Lad, no, is it's it, not. <laughs> it's not at all. Lad. It's but, it's the perfect problem to have, to yeah. be honest. But now, lad, this time, I only got like I thought I'll stay skinny. I won't even get that many desserts. I ordered, I got them off that uh, cakes by Lily, and I haven't had any other desserts. I'm gonna have to get some, you know. Yeah. I'm gonna have to just like do this next week with a bang, lad, and then just like try and try and care a bit of it. Well, after we've all thought, obviously. We'll get the scrans in. I'm oh, yeah, after we've got saying that, yeah, you're fighting next week as well. Yeah. And then that's fight gonna, week, yeah. I'm, coming, I'm coming on the Wednesday, so Wednesday, yeah. Thursday, Friday, I'm eating out. You're on delivery, aren't you? Yeah, you're whatever I'm on delivery, yeah. eating off that. Yeah. So you give it another two weeks. <laughs> yeah, it, and I'm then, gonna have to. Yeah. Now, saying that, because then you're you a full, well, saying, yeah, another full two weeks. Yeah. I'm like that, well, we'll call it two and a half, because we've got to go to the weekend. You can't yeah. start on a weekend. Obviously, So yeah. we'll call it two and a half. Two and a half, that sound. I won't put too much. Well, I, just, I, I I haven't trained that much the past few weeks. I've just been ticking over. But I've started getting back on road and running on that now. So I say the more you train, you can still get away with I remember after my last fight, I, I was eating shit after the Bullen fight. Um, but I was right back in the gym on Monday. And where I was training pretty much every day. I had the odd day off yeah, here and there. That's but, where Cornwall half killed me, love. Yeah, because you couldn't really do I couldn't, much. I couldn't train. Yeah. And I had a sore shin. Yeah, you can't like, even run or anything. Yeah, so yeah. I couldn't run. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to put on the weight. That there, was the it? worst thing about it because I was like, yeah, I'll go for a run while I'm here. There's fucking like, Cornwall, massive lad, big, yeah. massive country roads. Yeah. 
Bladder couldn't, couldn't even run. First, first two days, I was still hot, like not hobbling, but I was still you're limping, aren't you? Yeah. yeah, that's all it takes is kick someone's shin, lad. In the fight, you don't realize. Yeah. Like I checked one of his kicks, lad, and uh, well, I half checked it, didn't even check it properly. He came with a few nice kicks, like as well. Yeah. But, so like my calf was a bit fat. Yeah. And then like I had, I think I've still got a little bump on my shin. A little dent. It doesn't take mad. much when it's shin on shin. No, does it, it doesn't like... take much at all, lad. So. That's a, as you. Oh, just made me think of Chris Wilden. Yeah, fucking hell. That's horrible, lad. That's horrible, lad. They didn't like yeah. a wet branch snapping. That is... The thing is with that, though, it's it's, it's very rare, in it? Do you know yeah, what I mean? very, like, very, very rarely rare. happens. I think so it's only of... happened two or three times in the UFC, that. Yeah, ever. Chris Wyman's been in two of them. Chris Wyman's been in two of them, yeah. Anderson Silvers, and then... Yeah, three broke. times I think it's happened, because some it's happened with someone else. Some other kid, yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's... Th- that's, like, one of your biggest fears, though, isn't it, lad? Yeah. Like, thinking, thinking about, about fighting, something like that happening, but... Like, how would you throw a leg kick again after that? I mean, yeah. You? you just you wouldn't money, would you? You couldn't. Take a lot of fucking mental strength to like get back and do Wouldn't that again so like it again lad it'd just no. be in the back of your mind constantly yeah oh what if this happens or if this happens that's mad isn't it but as you know lad once you get in there and you go and you have that fuck it stage yeah and you get past that lad you nothing you'll probably matters throw then, anything, lad. yeah 100 percent. when you're in the cage you're just running on autopilot yeah you yeah. can't help just thinking about lad. killing you're not thinking about yeah. anything else so yeah but yeah. in a different hotel this time though aren't we for this trilogy yeah and it's about an hour away from the venue you know what? So like I had a look the other day on because they, they put it's got like Novotel something in it or yeah. um and that's in yeah, there's about hundred of them in London, I know, isn't there? I know. Yeah. But this one's West London, and I'm sure the venue's East London. So we're literally like the other side of London to where the venue is. So obviously it's not too bad because I'm only gonna be there Tuesday, Wednesday in the hotel, Thursday go down to the venue. Yeah. And then my bird and a few of my mates have got like an Airbnb for Thursday night. So I'll probably go to that afterwards yeah. and then just come back to watch the lads on Friday. Yeah. Um, so it's not too bad, but that um, that journey from the hotel to the venue is going to be a bit moody, and then it won't. I'll have me speaker. Yeah, that's what I mean. But I'm going to be main event, so I'll be leaving there at like what? Do you reckon like three bell? We'll probably leave the hotel. So I'm going to try and not get too hyped because I'll be fighting like half ten. Yeah, so I'm going to take some food with me and just get me head down and chill in the changing rooms. But obviously the boys are all on the prelims, so I'm going to be getting amped up watching them. Yeah. And then I'll just have to stay stay chill, stay calm, ready for my one, lads. What are both of the lads on the prelims? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think. Liam and Wilson are both on the prelims. I thought Wilson might open up the main card. But I so. thought that, but I had a look today on, and he's I think he's the last prelim, but should be on the main card, that fight like Yeah, I, I, thought, that, I thought that would open up the main card. To be honest, he opened up yeah. the main card last time, didn't he, when he fought Maya, so Yeah, he did, yeah. He just expected again. Yeah. And he was on the main card for that Scotland one. Scotland, Scotland one, Scotland yeah, one, yeah. When say that Scotland one, then. Because he's, yeah, yeah, he's yeah. Scottish, yeah. Yeah, the Manny one. Absolutely slacking there, mate. Yeah. I don't know what. We need to speak about that time, that. We both fought on the same night. Yeah. And your last one, wasn't it? My last cage warriors one. Yeah. Like, I don't even mean just because of that. I mean because of you're in the back. Oh yeah. After it. Heavy. Oh, uh, you wanted to see him. I swear to God, it looked like someone had just performed an exorcism on him. <laughs> oh, that's sad. They're shaking. Was this is after he's fought. He's lying on the floor, soaking wet, dripping. I haven't fought yet either. Yeah, I know. I haven't fought yet, so I'm like. So you're right. Everyone's like grabbing doctors and that. The doctor come and look at you. Then he give you, he give you some type of tablet, didn't he? And yeah, then give me five a few minutes things. later, he just spewed it spewed right off. Yeah, pure projectile vomit coming out of him. He's lying on the floor with a pillow, one of the French kids' pillows. Yeah, just like that on the floor, he's shivering. shivering. Like that. He was, t- I was hitting pads with Venko and like, and is he all right? Hello. You've That's got fun. a fight to all up for. You're thinking, yeah. is he all right there? On the floor? Is he all right? What the fuck, Sean? Lad, you were grey. I know. It's bad. But that was literally, and do you know what? Going into the fight, I felt shit as well. Do you and, know what I mean? Well, I can like, remember because yeah. you got me and you said to woke you, up early yeah. that morning, didn't yeah. we? Yeah, yeah. And I got, we got on each other and was like, yeah, come to our room, lad. You come yeah. to our room. And you was like, oh, lad, I've been up since six in the morning. Shit. Yeah, shit in there. Yeah. I was like, oh, you haven't. Not good. But you I know what? the same scram the night before, though, hadn't yeah, I? Yeah, you did. But I mean, brought me food, but I'd left it out the fridge for like no, days. No, I meant it like meant in case it was the Nando's. The Nando's, yeah, because you were thinking, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we both had the Nando's, Shit, but you yeah. think it was the, the cold food? Yeah, I think it was. Rim always says, don't as well, don't get a Nando's. And I'm thinking, oh, fuck yeah. today, I've got a Nando's, should I listen to Rim? But, uh, yeah, that's something that we had to, that we're, like, we're definitely cut out now. Yeah. But even like going into that Martinez fight, saying that as well, just, in all my fights, I'm like that, it's weird, lad. I think we're obviously... I've been sticking to the same types of healthy foods the whole yeah. time, lad. Every fight I go into, I'm burping my head yeah, off and my stomach feels yeah. In the changes, you're yeah, burping, lad, yeah. Burping my head Didn't off. Do that is where you've, you've literally been eating near nothing for the last few weeks and dieting right down and then you're trying, obviously, you want to have as much energy fight day, don't yeah, you? Well, so lad, you I, went, as... I went back into that fight about 172. Yeah, nice you know that. I mean? off, weighed in at 155, 155 and a half. Yeah. Only, only done like four pound in water. 
Yeah. If that three, four still pound on all that. I still put back on 16 and a half, 17 pound. That's it. So I mean, that's a nice refuel. That yeah. That's what you that's want. That's just because like, my yeah. body needed it. Really. Yeah. We so depleted weeks, yourself weeks, so yeah, much. Yeah. yourself to get down to it. That's it. Like, I reckon I'll weigh in 135 this one. I'll probably go up to like 150, I reckon. 150 pounds, something yeah. like that. That's what I am about. I normally walk around about 155 anyway. Yeah, lad, you're always in shape, lad. Something I always say about you. Yeah. You, uh, you're always walking around so where you could take a fight in a few weeks. Now, yeah. just if someone offered me a fight now, like, <laughs> be a while. Like she's fighting at welterweight, maybe or middleweight. Get in my belly. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't hear. I am like fat bastard off Austin Powers at the minute. Like. Ever you see that one yeah. Adam showed us with it, your face where it's been edited. Yeah. But he's like, oh, I can't tell it's been edited. You look like fat bastard, yeah. lad, do, lad. Big fat face, lad. Big fat gut. And as you said before, I've only had 700 calories today. So that's not even like that full. Like, I'm just, I'm half dread and even getting back on a diet, lad. Yeah. It's just too nice, isn't it? Where you don't have to worry about your weight. Yeah. It's don't just constant stress. That's what, like, like, as soon as you get off the scales, lad, and you just have that feeling of, I don't need to worry about what I'm putting in my mouth yeah. now. I don't need to think how many calories are in that. Should I be drinking that? Has that got salt in it? Lad, I actually, I actually counted how many calories. And this was, with, this was without me meals. How many calories I ate um, the day of me weighing. And like this way, including me meals, lad. Uh, what is it? Yeah, look at that. All different. I've just got it all like written down there, but look. Oh, I had it. You added it up, or yeah, like a tuna wrap, a P3 snacks thing. 460, 400, 170, 260, 130, 120, 380, 300, 300, 300 200, 200, 700, 200, 780. So the UFC giving you all this stuff. 400, lad. That's about 4,000 calories there. Yeah. And that's without me meals. So what's that of what the UFC have give you? Is that what you like? Like they give you like, like little bags. Like that's that is obviously like. For me, that was the biggest difference with the UFC and Cage Warriors and that. Like Cage Warriors, they do do everything for you. Yeah. Get you there, this and that. But when it comes to like your refuel, you you look after yourself because yeah. they haven't got as, enough money to do yeah, all that for definitely, you. Yeah. Where when you got there, fight week with the UFC, they asked you what you like, what don't you like, and yeah. sort of scans for you. Sad. Uh, and then when you weighed in, before you'd even weighed in, you were sitting down at a chair, blue corner there, red corner over there. And there was a bag next to your thing, yo. Yeah. With all like Nature Valley bars in, fruit. There was a table over there where you could go and get more of everything. Yeah. Um, like all your chocolate, electrolytes milk, and a few that, different that. drinks and that. And, no, and then you had, depending on how much of a water cut you'd done, because yeah. they, they track your weight through the week, they give me two like plastic plastic containers with electrolytes in. Yeah. So I had it all ready for me. They just say that's there, what you need to there, have. Yeah. To, yeah, and then they brought your meals over. Boss. So as soon as that was done, like there's in the apex like you know what I'm like lad I'm not asked so yeah. as soon as like I, I nailed a few things after the way then I was like hey is there a microwave in here yeah. just asked for the microwave in the apex and when I warm my brekkie up if nice. I was just eating but I was just like that on my brekkie yeah <sighs> nice uh, wallop me brekkie and the, lad there's only a Starbucks machine in there so I got myself a hot chockey oh yeah nice. you don't drink like coffee, coffee do I? yeah no. forget lad, that I was in Alton Towers yesterday yeah you just remind me by saying coffee and I was in a queue and I swear to God a kid, what was about 11, 12, turned to his mate and was like, oh, we're going to have to go and get a coffee after this. Did he, yeah? And one of them went, oh, yeah, there's a Costa there. There's a Costa on here, isn't there? Blah, blah. I was like, oh, and he said the name of a coffee. And I was like... 11 years old on the coffee. I was about 11, 12, lad. And I, I was just like, lad. That's mad, isn't it? Like, be a kid a bit more, lad. Yeah, you know I didn't mean? start drinking coffee till I was probably 20. And I still don't drink no, coffee. No, you don't like it, do you? I just don't, lad. Like I, I used like, to hate it. I don't, I don't understand. I don't know what. I don't even know why I like it because it tastes bang average, and it's just like, yeah. Do you know what I mean? I yeah. used to prefer tea to coffee as well, but I'm not gonna lie. Now I am half a coffee addict. Lad. I drink coffee every day. Two, two probably two. See, cups I don't a day. even have like a cup of tea every day. Like, no, no. It's not one of them where I'm like, oh, I need to have one of them. But yeah. like people are like that with coffee. Yeah. Lad. It's like it's like as addictive as drugs. Lad, the way yeah. people fucking go on with it. It is bad. Pens has about three a day. Lad. No. You know when you see it, it's the queues lad, out the Starbucks. They're like yeah. queuing out the door. Just for the coffee. Just for the coffee. And you're getting bumped on it. It's about fucking six yeah. quid. You are at Starbucks, like, heavy prices Lad, there. If I was going in to get a coffee from there, when I bought it, I'd go, can you just put the balaclava and the shotgun in yeah. my face, please? So yeah. I feel like... I've actually been robbed. I've actually yeah. been robbed. Because you're robbing me anyway. So, like, 
give me the proper feeling. That's how they get it, lad. That addictive caffeine, isn't it? Everyone's um, willing to pay the dough. Just I just to don't get understand it. how people drink it, lad. It's mad. I've just got a little Nespresso machine at home, so I just bang me pod in every morning, having a little Nespresso <laughs> shot on the way to the gym. And then I'll normally go for a coffee yeah, after on the that day, with the lads. Me, me fighter woke up and Graham, because Graham was there, Graham popped in my room. He's like, do you want a coffee? I was like, I'll have a cup of tea. Yeah. And he went, so you've got no tea. It was like a delivery job, know what yeah. I mean? I was like, I can't get a hot chocolate because of what happened when I fought a rose that time. So yeah. I went, get me the least coffee flavor, flavor and coffee you can get me. And I think he got me on what was half milk, half coffee or something. Yeah, like a latte or something. I don't even know, lad. Yeah. But I had one sugar of it. Right into it. Poured pure milk in it. Pure milk. Had another swig and was like, can't vent, you want that? Because he forgot Vent was asleep or was upstairs. I went, do you want that? And Vent went, fucking hell, lad, that's just milk. I was yeah. like, are you, are you thinking it's messing? too coffee tasted? Yeah. yeah. I was like, lad, all I can taste coffee. He's like, that's just too milky, that. And yeah. didn't drink it. Yeah. I don't put any milk in my coffee. I have espresso in me. So just literally pure coffee pod, lad. Yeah. Best way to do it. Use it rough. Wakes you up, lads. You just feel boss after one of them every morning. I'm in my car like that, half asleep. Bam, nail that, and I'm just ready to go and attack the day. So, yeah, got to be done. I don't genuinely. I mean, I probably could function without one. Don't get me wrong, but I've done it before. Where I've said like I'm gonna jib coffee for a few weeks. I'll last like a day or two, and then I'm like, nah, I'm just gonna have one this morning as well. So, lad, uh, John's the funniest lad. My uncle John. He'll have like a coffee bar half an hour before bed. Really, yeah? Yeah. That's a bit it's just, mad. He's just accustomed to it. Like yeah, it just doesn't it, even affect thinks him. thinks it as soon as he wakes up. As soon as yeah. he gets up, he makes a coffee. Yeah. You know what I mean? So if he's not on the booze, lad, he's going to have a coffee before bed. Yeah. I don't want it. I don't like to have one as soon as I wake up because then I feel like I'm I'm relying on it to get me up. Do you know what I mean? So I get up in the morning. Ah, John doesn't give a fuck, lad. Yeah, he he's obviously not honest, is he? Yeah, he's not thinking. Yeah, I'm thinking more for like just day-to-day performance, lad, and training yeah. and that. I don't want to be relying on coffee, but I'll get up me normally. I have a cold shower in the morning just to, like, wake yeah, me up, do you know what I mean? Into all that. You don't do that, do you? No, no? lad. No. Any of you? No. I may, I, may, I may be. I'm on that Wim Hof hype train, lads. Fucking <laughs> Rim Hof. Yeah, Rim Hof, lad. Eh, uh, lad, I can take my shower on cold for about 30 seconds towards the end. Yeah. But not too cold. Not, like, ice cold. No. See, that, not... When we was at the UFC in the Performance Institute, there's a jacuzzi. Yeah. And then have you seen the ice cold yeah, thing? Yeah, yeah, next there's to that, it. lad. It was disgusting. Did you get in? Well, lad, I dipped my toe in at first. This is on the... We're weighing in the Friday. So, yeah, this was on the Wednesday night. First first day I was there. Dip, dip me toe in. I was like, what the fuck? Who's, who's even getting anywhere near that? Yeah. Got on the jacuzzi. Rim just walked out. And just walked in it. Did he, yeah? Just walked down the steps, got in it and stood in it and was just like, I was just like how the fuck are you in yeah. there? And we started, that's why I said rim off then, because we started to call call him, him call rim off. Sick that. Lads. He does cold showers every day, Rim. Yeah, he's he telling does me he got every me on day, it. Yeah. But I was just sitting there looking at him like, how are you sitting in that? He was yeah. just standing there talking to just us. Chilled, yeah. And I think Hell started to have a go and if Vent did, we were all just like, nah, get away. We got in the yeah. sauna and that got back in the jacuzzi and I got in the sauna with Rim and right before we were getting off, Rim got back in the cold. Yeah. And I went, I just jumped in it. You know yeah. what I mean? Lad. I was like, <gasps> <gasps> Gasping. Lad, I went, my head went under. Jumped like, and there's like a, a rail, <laughs> lad, there's like a rail in the middle of the <laughs> steps. Yeah, actually, there was Lad, sick, there's like yeah. a rail. I was like that. <laughs> Trying to pull yourself Trying out. I grabbed the rail, I'm pulling myself out. I was like, <gasps> <laughs> lad. It's Rim was laughing his head off. That's Disgusting, boss. lad. Yeah. Disgusting. How people get up at five in the morning and go and jump in the sea and that. Lad, yeah. you need your head testing. Yeah. Lad, lad that's... Oh. I'm not doing any of that, like, I'm no... I'm no, no, I just mean in general, lad, anyone that yeah. can get in that cold water, lad, especially getting up at, like, six in the morning to do it yeah, and that. Yeah, chip that. Yeah, chip that. Sleep, I, need to, I need me sleep, lad. Yeah, same. I don't understand people who say to me, like, yeah, I, I'm asleep by ten. I'm yeah. Like, what? The only time I can ever go to sleep by that time is if I am in fight camp and I'm proper knackered off the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, knackered off the day and I've hardly had any food yeah. and I'm proper, proper tired. Yeah. Other than that, lad, nine times out of ten, I am going to sleep after 12 o'clock. Do you, yeah. See, I'm, ne- I'm never up late. I mean, I go to bed early, me. Do you? What's yeah. that? So I'll get into bed about 10 and I'll, I'll be asleep by 11 most nights. Yeah. Like, especially like if I've got a fight. See, that's why up. you need the whoop on, lad. You're slacking. Lad, I jibbed the whoop, you know. <laughs> it's just, I, I had it on for a bit, right? And then I just didn't like it underneath my arm wraps because I kept feeling it when I was grappling and stuff. 
And then it just kept telling me my heart rate variability was like shit and you need to have a day off. But I felt Oh, sound. no, that's the only annoying thing about it when it says to have a day off. Yeah. That is annoying. Because I'm thinking but I can't have a day off. What they don't take them. into account is you're a professional athlete. Yeah. They think you're like an they average. They think you're yeah. just an average Joe lad. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Obviously, I was straining every day. Man was like the full, the max. What is yeah. it? Like 18, 19, yeah, 20 18, every 19, day. 20 and that. That's yeah. what man's like. And yeah. fight camp lad every day. And it tells yeah. you, your recovery is shit. Have a break, have so a rest. So that's all mine was saying. So I was like, this is shite. I'm not getting anything from this. It's telling me to just take all this time off. I'm not going to do that. But that's it, lad. It's, yeah. it's, it's thinking that you're a normal person yeah. when we're not normal people. We're, yeah. we're, we're training every yeah. single day. Definitely, yeah. And it just doesn't take that into it. That's why you should be able to put a setting on it. To say like, like elite athlete setting or yeah, whatever. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Just so it changes and it's not as Telling much of a so. bitch ass. Literally, that's what yeah. I felt like. I felt like I was becoming a bitch ass. <laughs> reading that and then being like, oh, maybe I should have a day off today because the whoop bands tell it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, nah, you never do that. Like, lad, when I Obviously, went, I never did take the I day went off, to like, Cornwall. On the Tuesday after the fort, bear dad was up at half five, lad, to leave. Yeah. And lad just think I'd got off the flight from Vegas. Atlanta. Yeah, yeah. Because we flew from Vegas to Atlanta, it was delayed like three hours there. Yeah. And then got home from Atlanta. Like we never, I never got home. I got out of the car at the Rocky at like two in the afternoon. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then half five the next morning didn't even get a proper kip that night Going had about five corner. hours kipping me, me in, in my own bed for the first time in over a week yeah. and then I got woke up at half five to go to Cornwall Bet so was... lad the next night I just conked out after I got out the bath yeah. and forgot to put the whoop band on Right. so I didn't get my sleep process for that night lad wounded yeah, because that would have been the Ooh, deepest sleep That would have been yeah. the deepest, lad, still now. Your still recovery think, would have been 100% Your recovery would probably be better now, yeah. still, because if it would have included that, that sleep, lad. Yeah. Like, oh, you messing, pad. All yeah. week I was like, you're fucking messing, you. No, when you first got it, I used to, like, overthink it, though. So I'd be in bed thinking, oh, I need to have a good quality sleep here. I need to get a good deep sleep at that. Do you know what I mean? And then in the night, I'd be awake thinking, this isn't deep sleep, this. I'm not getting quality <laughs> recovery in that. And then I'd wake up the next morning, it'd say, yeah, you had about... 15 minutes of deep sleep and you've uh, lad, with me quality. I didn't notice how many disturbances you'll actually get yeah. every night because yeah. like obviously you wake up like two or three times every now and then don't you yeah. but when it says like you had 15 disturbances you're like yeah. wow, I've woke up 15 times but obviously where you wake up and just fall a kip and not notice straight away yeah that, that, that's, that's all minute. that yeah because I can remember when my bed was having a drink downstairs with a mates before that fight before the Decky I mean no, not the Decky Dalton before the Martinez, Martinez fight yeah. when you fought the other Italian yeah like four weeks before that, lad, I was sitting there. I'd stop. I'd stop doing everything. Every every one of my vices, lad. No eating food. No nothing like that. I was yeah. just sitting in ours. I can remember it coming in with a mates, just hey, 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 uh, you know what they like, lad. Yeah. And then I went to bed, and lad, I think it said the next day I had something like twenty two disturbances in the night. I was really, like, yeah. I'm not a strangle here, mate. <laughs> yeah, just fuming off it. It's not what you need, a, that, is it? I had a shit night's kip, lad, and woke up. I was like, look what the whoop's saying. Yeah. Look, look. That's because of you. It's because of you. Oh, sick. No one else's fault is yours. <laughs> know what we need to do? Jacob, get, get him Nathan's last finish up, lad. He'll be on your Insta, won't he? Yeah, yeah. All, all me finish get on his, there. Get his Instagram up, lad. So we are, lad. Here we go. Here's the, the Instagram. Boom, boom, boom. He's got an inside body, body triangle here, so you often see the body triangle. You're like this, Jacob, lad. Watch the elbow he, he, he throws. The outside, he's opted to put this on the inside here, which actually can be a very strong position. He's on the back. Now expect to see him work in that neck. When you're standing up, it can feel like you're in a stronger position because you can move and maybe slam your opponent, but actually this is a bad position to be I always say this position needs more elbows though, you know. Yeah. Right there, they can't see, can they? Oh. Damn. Heavy shot. Elbow station to be a naked kid. That is a lovely finish that, you know. Get on this now as well, call for the belt right after. Give me the belt. And we got it. They got the title shot. As you said, that, that fight should have been for the belt really, but obviously Cartwright was still the champion then, weren't exactly, he? Exactly, yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, lad. Let's find the one where you beat this Italian kid. Go ahead. That's a little bit further down. Oh, yeah, that, there's a highlight of it. If you go up to the middle there and then uh, right one, where I'm crouched down in the white top. Yeah, this is like yeah. a highlight of the fight. There's this, a lot of lad. Curtis Pike done. And this, like, look at his face on it. He's a bit, you're a bit white on that, lad. Already. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're already a bit white on that. Full food poisoning here. Yeah. Like. <laughs> this is the one where he was proper sick, lad. I know what's even mad about it. You're proper sick, but you got to finish it. With like a minute to go in the fight. I know. So it just just shows, lads. Shows, lads. All men. You're always fit as fuck. You've just been saying to Jacob then, lad, you're, you're the machine, lad. You're just always fit. He's right, lads. Nice I one. wish I was as fit as you all year round. 
That's because me hobby outside of the fighting lines just doing CrossFit, so I just stay <laughs> fit doing that. Yeah, you even look white on that, and that's what I'm saying. Like, after that fight, he come in the back and was lying on the floor, absolutely cabbaged, looked like he'd just been dug up. Yeah. Go back up, yeah, look, there's it, there, go down, there's me, him and Chris after he'd fought. Yeah. Look a bit pale on that as well, don't I? Yeah, look, he still looks pale on that, lad. Yeah. I've chiselled you up, Ad. <laughs> I know that's where we That was after scary. you'd fought, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was after I'd right fought. Right before we got so off. So that was um, right before we got off, yeah, so you was a bit better by then yeah. a few hours later. I'd go up and let's bit. see the little bitch ass he's going to beat up in a few weeks. Well, when this comes out tonight in or tomorrow. Day, yeah, literally. Him. There it is. Dominique. Dominique's a girl's name. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sick that. Chris commented that. I was having beef with him the other... Well, it was about a month ago now. Hadley put something on. Yeah. He's always chirping in and giving his fucking two cents. And uh, Chris just commented underneath it going, sure, Dominique's a girl's name. <laughs> like, <laughs> Sick. It is like... Like, if we're getting technical about it, like... Yeah. Dominique's a girl's name. There you so, go. It's like a play but you don't. So. <laughs> exactly. But Nathan doesn't beat birds up, lad, so... Oh, I can't wait to see you win this belt, you know, lad. Oh, it's going to be sick. It is going to be nice. It's going to be sick, lad. Definitely. It's obviously something I've been wanting to do, lad, since I first started fighting. His coach is Grimshaw as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, who you've beat, yeah. I've yeah. beat Grimshaw. He's yeah. actually sound Grimshaw, though, to be fair. He's actually a nice fella. I've never met yeah. him. Yeah, like you've never yeah. met him, but he yeah. come and I spoke to him after. He's actually a nice fella, so yeah. I won't even say nothing bad about him, but Dominique, it's going to be heavy. <laughs> We've yeah. Uh, yeah, it is. It is like it's, it's gonna, gonna be, gonna, it's gonna be a, another choke, choking season, lad. Yeah, the Southport Strangler. You never know. Might put some hands on him as well, though. In this one, so and, and we'll you're gonna. I know yeah. you are, but the Southport Strangler is gonna strike again, lad. Yeah, heavy that Southport <laughs> Strangler. I hate that nickname. You know, <laughs> <laughs> terrible. That is proper sticking now as well. But I'm, I'm, gonna, for... I'm gonna have to just embrace it soon enough. How many like, chokes have you got though? F- uh, five chokes. I got one head and arm triangle, and then I've got. Five Ian four, four Ian Akids. And then I've got one TKO. Yeah. The ground and pounded. That's that um, French kid. Yeah, I can remember. I can remember. Yeah. The little chesty one. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The little juice bomb. Yeah, he was. So, lad. yeah. Six finishes, though, and five of them are chokes. Five so. of them are chokes, lad. So, yeah. you can see why they call me that. Exactly. Like, and it, it's catchy. You know here what we mean? go. Here's another few of mine now. That was my pro debut, that. That's the head and arm, innit? Yeah. And then over Ian Akids after that, and, and a TKO as well. So. Yeah, it makes sense. Like, so put strangle it. Oh, here's all my finishes. That was in court. Were you there? That, no, no I wasn't, home, yeah. lad. No. You don't understand how gone you had my head in that fight, lad. Watching yeah. in my bedroom on my phone. And he nearly had me. He nearly re naked choked you, lad. My head fell off. Oh, no. I was sitting there going, What? Oh, fighting it yourself. Like, air that, fight. Lad? Yeah. Oh, that's the worst, lad. You know, when you're watching your teammates fight. That was always one of them lads just took a terrible shot. Like, worst takedown I'd ever shot. Yeah. And he, he obviously just... You know, that Mulholland, he's game kid and he's he's good like, opportunist, isn't he? Like, yeah. He's done that. You see, he fought Connor and Connor yeah. was piecing him up the other the other week, wasn't he? And then he ended up catching a guillotine on him. I was just say a lucky choke, but you can't yeah. call it a lucky choke because there is no such thing as a lucky no. choke. He's good. He, he is a good, good fighter, lad, yeah, yeah. He caught a nice choke, but... Yeah. 99 times hard, but under the lad, Connor beats him. Yeah, million you know percent, yeah. Like... I think Connor, he needs to just get back on cage while he's Connor because the minute he does, he's going to run through all yeah, them flyweights. Yeah, he is going to run through all them flyweights. I was saying that Gittins has gone down to flyweight now, and he so he'll have to wait for Gittins to get his yeah. belt and then... Gittins, Gittins going to... Uh... <laughs> just thinking of his opponent's name. Gittins' opponent's name is oh, Gerardo yeah. Fanny. Yeah. That's his actual name. It's Fanny. Sick Fanny. that, innit? Yeah. So, Gittins is going to fuck up some pussy. <laughs> Literally, it's what he's saying in the gym, aren't we? Like, what he's saying. It's too many. Get, trying to get Liam to say it. Oh, he's like, he's like, he's using that on his Instagram, yeah, but he's he not like that, that, is no, he? No, Liam won't he's say too that. nice. He'd rather shout team bacon. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I'd be screaming, lad, you're getting it. Yeah. Like, right in the pussy. Yeah. Right, right in the pussy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, makes you laugh so much that, you know, that's where the fella runs over on the news broadcast, innit? Yeah. Lad, he's sick, him, lad. He's about 70 as well, lad. Runs over. And, lad. All these memes, lad, that are getting made about me are just making me think of other ones, lad. I just... Ugh, that's what I used to love me old Instagram for. Just all memes, Just all memes, memes lad. Page, Follow yeah. all mad scouse pages and all mad meme pages. And now you've just become a meme, lad. Everyone's just making yeah, memes and, but na- and now, because I've got a new account and I only follow, like, 45 people, people yeah. from the gym, you know what yeah. I mean? I only follow, like, MMA stuff and stuff like that. Yeah. So And sponsors. Because of that, I don't see them. Yeah. I don't see any of them, lad. So not coming up on your explore page and thing. When you go on there or... No, my explore page is mainly food. 
Yeah, fair enough. Serious lad, if yeah. I get my explore page up now, lad, it'll be food and footy and yeah. MMA. Yeah. Look, look at that, lad. It's all food, isn't it? Lad, yeah, and a few footy players there. You can, you can yeah, see. if you can see that, there's just food. Mo Salah, Firmino, for like a few Liverpool stuff, and then like, more see, look, scroll down, more food, footy. <laughs> Sick that. Boxing and MMA. Just proper food. embracing the fat man lifestyle, like, aren't you? I Just... am a fat man at heart, yeah. lad. You like, are, like... If I weren't a fighter, as I always say, I'd be a diabetic. <laughs> would. Sick, yeah. I genuinely would, you got to be careful when you retire, though, because you won't I be am. traded as I'm much. Gonna, as... Like, I am going to be the Ricky Atten of MMA, yeah. lad. Yeah. I'm going to be standing on the side, talking like a pundit, like Prince Nazim Hamid. Yeah. Just like... About 20 stone, just like, yeah, I'm sad to get back in there in school now. <laughs> Sick, that. See the way Prince is doing that, though. I haven't seen that, though. proper slating someone talking. He's about 18 stone. He used to fight at about nine stone. Yeah. You know what I mean? And he's saying he like, get, oh, yeah, get back in there and do him now. Yeah, you Sick, know what I mean? He's shite, he's shite. Oh, yeah. that's hilarious. Boss. Oh, can't wait to get into all that, though. You know, that's what I mean when I do end up like retiring and get into like being a talking head doing all that, that shit. Yeah. You can't turn up looking like this. No, well, you probably can. You can, but at the same time, you can't. Like DC's cheeks aren't as fat as mine. I reckon. No, DC's getting thinner, isn't he? I think he was yeah, fatter he early yeah. on in his career. But he's lad, heavyweight, and then like I think my cheeks are bigger than his lad. Reckon, Serious? Yeah. Like these cheeks are huge, mate. Right. What are you gonna do then? You have to get like a full-on nutrition program for when you retire because you won't be training as much. No, so you just will go fat. Won't I you? will go. to what I mean, lad, and I'll stay fat. I yeah. can't have that happening, lad. Yeah, I suppose. Like, even Bisping's still half in shape, is he, as well? That's what I mean. They're all, yeah. like, still in shape. Yeah. All the Felder, pundits and that. He's, he's yeah. in shape, isn't he? Yeah. All the pundits and that are still in shape. Yeah. So, but in 10 years, when I retire, lad, I think I'll have had enough of MMA you by then. you be the first one to do it. Just turn up fat just and go, this up is fat me. and be like, what? Yeah. I'm happy. Yeah. Someone say Someone something. Someone say something, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you'd say that. Like, <laughs> someone say something to <laughs> me. People keep, lad, people keep commenting and responding to me stories and that, saying, wow, you're fat. Yeah. And so I'm like, I know. I'm what? What? Yeah. I enjoy being fat. And if they had to do the cuts that we have to do and the dieting and the discipline, they'd get fat too. Do you know what I mean? Like I know, lad, I'll reaffirm it, like I said before, because I do, I hate them. Anyone that's ripped all year round, did a weapon. I'm half ripped all year round, like I'll be honest, but I'm not, not down to like... No, not like, like where you keep an eye on your diet 24-7, no, that's what I mean. No. Like there's just these people like, stay, yeah, no, man, you, you got to have that much protein. Oh, you know yeah. Like, no, Tip go that. away, lad. Yeah. I want to have a cookie pie. I want to have a cookie pie. Oh yeah, one or two. Or if I want to have, pies. if I want to go to the Palm Bakery and get four pasties, I will. <laughs> Nothing you can say will stop me from doing it. No, you're happy, aren't you? Exactly. Is. I'm fat and happy, lad. Until I get gout when I'm older, <laughs> then I haven't got to worry, lad. You know yeah, I mean? you don't want to be getting that. No, me. but until I get that, it's gone too far. Yeah, that's when I worry. That's when I worry about it, lad. Even as a kid, though, I was bad. Like. But you I was fat though, is No, a kid? Lad, it was always like that. Yeah. Always, but I had a sick metabolism. Yeah. But this yo-yo diet and kills that's your metabolism. I'm gonna have, that's what I'm gonna have to be careful yeah. of. Because I can still half get away with eating shit. This after year, lad, fights, I swear, yeah. lad, the yo-yo, the yo-yo yeah. diet has killed my metabolism. Yeah, I thought. It will do. Now, lad, I hold on to every bit of weight. That's yeah. why I'm proper fat at the minute. Because yeah. you've done it I so many times. I can weight cuts, then few weight cuts to 66. When yeah. I when I put weight back on, lad, it just it stays on me until I get on a diet. Mad are you know 466, mean? lad, and it wasn't even that long ago, really, was it? No, like four years, years ago. But what are you now? Roughly. 89 key now, like. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's impressive, that. Mad. I don't know if it was that this morning. I never weighed myself this morning. Yeah. Weighed myself yesterday morning. Was it, lad, the other morning? I weighed myself. It was 89.8. See, was but like, you were yeah, all, like, healthy, care, not dieting. Were you about 81, 82 key or a bit heavier? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah about 82, yeah. 82. Yeah. So yeah. when you look at, in that, when it says 89, you're like, Oh, 19 key from, from lightweight. Yeah. But in reality... Uh, lad, I've got a stone of fat to lose here. Yeah, yeah. You know I mean? Literally, yeah, yeah. I've got a stone of fat yeah. that I could lose. Yeah. And like, then obviously all the water retention and stuff, yeah. that's all added. Because lad, I just think well, the so. amount of sugar and salt I'm eating at the minute, lad, yeah. it's... And I've got all that to look forward to. I know, you know. Lad, I can't... If I don't fight before the end of this year, lad, I am definitely doing that 15,000 slash 20,000 calorie challenge. It's just... Yeah. I don't know where to. I want to. I want to. I know I'll smash the 15. Yeah. But I don't want to be a little failure. And fail the 20. Fail the 20. Yeah, so you've got to, yeah. Maybe so, I like a warm up and go. I don't know. You don't, I suppose. Exactly. You don't yeah. want to eat fucking 15,000 calories and then go a week later and I'll do a 20. 20. Now. Yeah. Because then I'll you've got 35,000 yeah. calories in two days. Yeah. You'd be fucking 95. Exactly. At that point. Yeah. Then I'd be a light heavyweight. Yeah. A, a legit one. Yeah. So no, no good that. I reckon go for the 20, lads. I'm going to go for it, obviously. I reckon you, know you can mean? do it. 20, 20K. 
I wouldn't even know how, how much that would even look like, 20,000 calories, do you know what I mean? But, well, I just, I, I, it's mad. I always go back and compare shit to chocolate, lad. Yeah. Because a whisper gold Chockies is 250. Yeah, yeah. Is it 250 calories? Yeah. A proper, a proper size, not one of them little fancy no, ass size ones. proper ones. A proper size whisper gold is 247 calories, something yeah. like that. Because I, I can remember them, that. them double Twixes, no, the, the, the Twix X, the long yeah, Twix, extra ones, the white yeah. ones, yeah. they were 388 white calories. Twix, they're heavy. They're they're heavy. one I forgot about Proper before. Heavy, lad. I haven't yeah. had one in ages, you just remind Neither me. Neither have I. Or I've, not had a, I've not had any chalky in ages, lad. Yeah. I can't wait. Like 388 calories is in that. Twix. Yeah, in like yeah. obviously the two things in it, the long, the long ones, you... like nearly 400 calories, lad. Yeah. And I've had like four of them in one sitting, not even thinking about doing that. Yeah. Just shuffling it in. Yeah, just yeah. being a fat little cunt. Yeah. That's what 20,000 calories looks like. Is that it? What is that even? That, that does that even, Can you drink? That's what I mean. I've got a lad who's got, who does like American, like American candy page on Insta. I think, I don't know, it's called candy to your door, something like that. Yeah. But he's on me saying, lad, when you do this challenge, get to, like, these are loads of calories. It's better for, for you to yeah. have these. And I will. But the only thing as we were saying before, the chocolate shit, the, the the American shit isn't as good. No, we're near as good. Just not no. as good, lad. Not as nice. Like what? Can what you drink in this there? challenge? Can you have like fizzy drinks? Yeah, calories? and I'll be having fizzy drinks. Yeah, because that's yeah, a few like, hundred calories yeah. each one in it. Like I, a bottle I, I, of coke. You know what? I'm like a cherry coke, lad. Yeah, do a two liter before, of that lad. in, lad. You'd be, that'd on be the a... way home. I used to on the way home from school. I used to get a two liter bottle of coke. Yeah, I'd sell me Lucas Aid discos and chocolate on the day. And then, like, we had a bit a bit of dormy. I'd get a two litre bottle of Coke on the way home. This is back in the day, lad, when a two litre bottle of Coke would be, like, 150. Yeah. Know what I mean? Not, like, like four pound. Like yeah, five, with like all this now. fucking sugar tax. Know what I mean? Get your sugar tax the fuck. No one's asked. Just let us be fat and happy. Yeah. Like, really? This, that, that sugar tax does my head in. But... <laughs> That's sick. That's one of the things that you're asking. Yeah, lad, that's one of the things that yeah. does me. It's hard for you, tax. isn't it? Really, when you love the sugar, it does, lad. It's hard. No, and like it doesn't make a difference. No, people are still gonna just, but they, it's just putting money in there. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, the same with like even with bifters and that, lad. See how expensive they are here compared to yeah. other countries. As if that's gonna put people off smoking bifters. It's not you know what I mean? exactly. It doesn't put anyone them. off yeah, it. They're yeah, they're gonna keep smoking Just like I'm addicted to food. They're not daft, are they? That's why they're doing it. Obviously, doing it for money, lad. Yeah, fuck the Tories. Yeah. Fucking Darren. Nice. They're all Tories by yours though, aren't they? Unfortunately, like, yeah. <laughs> I do live around a lot of Tories. Like, yeah, I think yeah so, there's yeah. definitely a few Tories in your yeah. vicinity. Like, There is, definitely. Especially around where my bird lives in Birkdale. Full of Tories. You know what's a bit worse? I think Formby, where Cullen's from. That's yeah. got more Tories, I reckon. <laughs> but uh, yeah. You're getting it, Cullen, lad. It's yeah. all your fault. Sick, Cullen, You're a little Tory supporter. I know. What's he like, eh? I'm going to take that cap back off you when we get back to the gym. He'd be wounded, lad. He loves yeah. them caps, Colin. So he? he's got the a cap The lumberjack, on. that's something we need to make stick for him. Yeah, the lumberjack. The lumberjack. He, yeah. He'll end up shaving Adam, his beard the lumberjack, Colin. Yeah. Lad, it sounds a belter. The lumberjack. He looks like a lumberjack, doesn't he? He does, with lad, beard, with that like, beard. So. Know yeah. what I mean? And his cap like on a, all the time. Yeah, always got a yeah. trucker cap on. Lad, he looks like a lumberjack. Yeah. We need to get him one of them checkered shirts yeah. to walk out yeah. in. Don't scramble do one of them. Scramble do one. Yeah, scramble do one. Yeah, said a Daniel Strauss one. Yeah, yeah. We need to get scramble. We need to get our friend, Adam Cullen, one of these. Um... Well, hang on. If we're getting Scramble, any sponsors, get on me, Scramble. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I haven't even wearing the shorts for years. Do you know what I mean? yeah. What's yeah, a man does... got to do to get a Scramble sponsorship? It's hard work. It is hard work to get a Scramble World sponsorship. World title fight now, though. Come on. Do do, 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 but as the only thing with you is now, lad, Scramble will get on you yeah, and they'll probably only sponsor you for two fights because you're on the UFC. I know, yeah. That's it. What's happening? Be in the Venom gear soon, won't I? Yeah, anyway, so. be in the Venom gear soon, lad. Yeah. So. Not even worth it. I'll yeah. just keep wearing fight right I'll keep, keep wearing them boys so I don't even want you scramble yeah. <laughs> that's it lads keep them mean keep them keen that's what you got to do listen I'll get home now I'll have scramble in my DMs <laughs> listen Nate here's what it is like, we'll give you some shorts for your fight <laughs> hopefully but, yeah uh, you're yeah. one of the uh, um, another fighter from our gym that's wore the orange shorts yeah. Uh, yeah how many fights have you had in them I only fought once in the orange ones have you? yeah but I've worn scram my first like four... no the purple ones and that yeah, yeah I know you fought, fought all them, yeah, a few purple. times yeah blue the blue ones the black ones and then i wore them orange ones on um the first trilogy in december that i fought on so got standing rear naked choking them as well so it's heavy very nice, nice. very nice yeah i mean last three i've actually been standing rear naked chokes aren't they every they the have, last yeah, three people well, i fought about that they stood up and then ended up going down to the deck but but that's a still a standing rear naked yeah. choke really isn't yeah it? yeah because I mean? you, you have you've caught it from on the feet you, think you have as well all three of them yeah. being standing why learned. don't these idiots catch on to that you shouldn't stand up when someone's got your back i don't know lad. like how can you be that stupid 
they just keep doing it. Yeah. And then fighting me as well. And someone like me and you love taking backs, yeah, obviously. And they still stand lad. up when they fight let's, us. Let's see if Dominique's smart enough to not do it. How do you end up standing up? You know, I he can is. just see it now. Try and explode up and be all athletic and stupid. And you'll just end oh, up getting choked. I always look at people's records and I know people always get better. Yeah. But when you've been beat by two midgets like he's been beat by. Yeah. And then I'm looking at you and I'm like. That's not going to be He's with me. Know what I mean? Yeah. Like. He's not a small man, some weight. No, not and by And you've been beat by midgets. You're getting ragdolled. Yeah. Simple he as. Like, yeah. He is getting ragdolled. He's getting muffed with hands. And he's getting ragdolled. And that's if he lasts after the hands. Yeah, which he might not, lads. You know, and hard. This can feel good. Me striking definitely feels better than ever. Do you know what I mean? And I love uh, when, when people say, you know, striker versus grappler. Like, the reason I'm subbing everyone is because my grappling's that much better than everyone that I'm fighting. Yeah. But... I've still got striking as well. I've just not needed to use it. That's really. what I was. That's what so I was like. Lads, Same but... with you in all your fights on cage wars. You subbed everyone, and then you've seen a UFC fight now. You knocked the kid out. Do you yeah. know what I mean? The first round. It's like we're not just a bunch of grapplers. Do you know we're what I mean? Not, like, that's the thing that people think that we are in yeah. our gym. They think that we are. So they're going to even get more of a fight, lad, when they fight like Luke Riley and Liam Malloy. Aren't they? Exactly, lad. You know know pure mean? comfortable you striking were, background. Comfortable striking background. Yeah, lad. literally. Well, Luke's kid, I think Luke's fighting some wrestler. I don't know if he's yeah. too much a supposed wrestler. Yeah. But like, imagine when he tries to shoot in on Luke and he just gets kneed in the chest dead hard. <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's not going to be and nice like, for him. Uh, <laughs> tapping out <laughs> off knees, lads. Just made himself a cop. <laughs> Sick. But yeah, that's what I mean. Like, they're going to be coming in expecting a grappling match against Luke. Yeah. He's going to knee you to fuck. And Elbow you up to yeah. death. It's going to be heavy. Lad, I can't wait for this trilogy, lad. No. The trilogy is going to be heavy. Even though, well, for us, it's just that a. Uh, just a back to back, isn't it? Just two yeah. nights because we're getting two off nights, on the Saturday. Yeah. Friday, Thursday, Friday. Who is the main event on the Saturday? I don't know. Because there's a Paul the, Hughes uh, thingy on the Friday. Friday, yeah. I think it might be the flyweights on the Saturday. It's a bit it might be one. the flyweights, yeah. yeah. Creasy and uh, Luke Shanks. Luke Shanks. That'll be a good fight. Yeah, they both scrap. I like that Luke Shanks, I mean, yeah. he's got a good style and he's just aggressive, just comes fight. forward, yeah. He reminds me of Gittins a bit, I think giving him and Gittins. Obviously, they'd have a scrap then for day four. Yeah, I think Gittins is technically miles better than him, like, but. Shanks has got that heart and he yeah, he's has. got he'll come forward but lad if Shanks wins and Gittins wins that's probably what's going to happen next to make that, and that's an exciting fight well, as well when Gittins wins yeah that's it Gittins will be fighting for the belt next I think after yeah. this one if he wins this well gets, when he wins this fight I'll gets past the fanny lad as I say 2-0 UFC 4-0 almighty 6-0 cage warriors that's what's yeah. coming lad yeah 2-4-6 so, it's, it's, all, it's all in the numbers yeah. lad it's all in the numbers that's, it's happening yeah um, I'm just going to put it out there for them Go on. The gym's gonna want to go for a nice little scoff after we've uh, after we've all after the lads have fought. So anyone wants to give us a big table for like fifteen twenty, yeah, let us know. We'll uh, Spot on. hit the DMs up because we're gonna need to go for a big scoff, aren't we, lads? Yeah, lads. Like, and there's gonna be heads like you say about fifteen yeah. twenty of us all uh, need 15s. to be celebrating these wins. So. Well, lad, that's t- just twelve people who've fought. Yeah, it's the twelve and all. And Never then the coaches and then the, the coaches is another like four yeah. or five people. Then you've got all Joel Downey Cave will be back in town. Joel will be back. back. Yeah. Obviously, you've got some people who haven't fought like Fran and that. Yeah, and then you've got there. all of the people who are sparring partners who'll be there. Yeah, the Uganda yes, nightmare. Um, yeah, <laughs> he's fighting and he's doing the IMAF. Oh yeah, he's thing. doing the yeah. So yeah. there's another one. He's doing yeah. the IMAF thing in Birmingham. The, I think that's on Friday or Saturday. It's Friday because it, yeah. Fran's coming to watch you. And then going, and then for going him. there. Yeah, because yeah. I think Edder might be coming as well. To the cage or To the is? cage or is is he, I think yeah. he might be coming on the Thursday. To watch and then he's And then both Friday. of them are just going to go from there. Okay, nice. But yeah. see what happens. See if, yeah, if he wants to get down, obviously he's fighting the next day. But yeah, but... food. Just letting, letting you know. Like, we're going to be going for a, a gym scan. So, food. See, I just can't stop thinking about food. I know, lad. It's sick. I love it's it. It's heavy, lad. I'm bad. Yeah. When, we get, we, uh, when Molly's back and we can get the Vegas one done. Definitely going to get some food just on the table for that one. Yeah. Just sitting there. Just, munching, yeah. just food in the middle. We're doing a bit of our last if you've had food Someone now was chatting me. some edibles as well, weren't he, lad? So we might have to get some edibles off someone. Yeah. So we... Uh, All yeah. makes for a better podcast, that, does it, lad? Like, so. Much better podcast. Yeah. But tell everyone where to find you on socials, lad. Social media, didn't I? Yeah, so um, I'm on Instagram as Nathan Fletcher underscore and... I've got Twitter as well, Nathan Fletcher underscore on that, but I don't really use Twitter to I be honest. I need to get back on the Twitter. I know. Know. I just don't. I just know what made me realise how much I was missing Twitter when the Insta was down. Really? Yeah. Lad, just living on Twitter then. Like, some of the people on Twitter are hardcore fans, lad. Yeah. They yeah. are. So it's good for building your fan base. It's good for it? speaking yeah. to people on there. Like, I've got a few yeah. people that I speak to on Twitter now because 
they speak a bit of sense, lad, and you don't yeah. get a lot of that on social media. No, you don't. Not on Instagram either. And haven't you got a YouTube as well, love? Yeah, I've got a YouTube. I've, I've only got one video on at the minute, but I'm doing like a road to the UFC type thing. So like, yeah. I'm I'm getting training footage of all me, me fight camps for these next few fights. And then obviously we're going to be putting them all out, each one. And then it's going to build up to yeah, when nice. I get signed to the UFC with you, lad. Well, it's so. only going to be a little two or three fights away, lad. That's what I mean. It won't be a big it's collection. Not, it's like, not yeah. going to be a big I collection. Started, started on the Boolean fight. So this one will be... Episode two is coming out. I think I'm going to release it the day off my fight or maybe the day before. Yeah. So you need to see what's on it because this one's got a bit of sparring footage and obviously we don't want to be giving too much away for Wooden like. So yeah, it might see. be best to just leave it till after Yeah, bring it out after the fight. The day yeah. after. Yeah, so that will be that one. Obviously the Cage Warriors title fight and then however many more we need, one or two, it could be like... Uh, that's only then... going to be... You're going to beat Dominique up yeah. and then... Is there... Who is... is there... Probably have to bring a bands on weight in. That's what I mean, because Booland was the only, the only other guy. Yeah. And obviously that Martin Yoni, they were half looking to build him and then I smoked him. So it's like, who else is there in the division, really? There you know isn't I mean? anyone, that's what I mean. There's nowhere anyone else for you to fight that thing. So ideally, they'll bring, they'll someone, to bring in. someone in. Maybe, Maybe the ex- kid who can't right for Yeah, or so hopefully if they've got like an ex-UFC vet or something like that. That's what good. you want. Yeah, that's what that'll you want. be ideal. That's what I tried to get. Yeah. Well, yeah. We all said no, so we had to get yeah. Martinez. That's it, what yeah. I mean? yeah. But hopefully, lad, you can get one of them because... I know you're good enough. I've been telling people for years already, lad. Yeah. Been telling people. I, I, I wish I was as switched on at your age as you are. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because I was still acting the goat, lad. Yeah. Being daft and since you've come to the gym, lad, you've always been switched on, always been dedicated. Yeah. As you can see, lad, he's always in shape. I'm not. <laughs> That's still one thing that I need to catch up with him on. But anyway, Nathan, I can't wait to be there when you smash this mushrooms head in yeah i absolutely cannot wait to see you lift this belt lad yeah. it's gonna be absolutely brilliant and it was a pleasure to have you on before it is right pad nice one nice you one for getting us on it. as well lad i've enjoyed it Been <laughs> uh, boss. another big shout out to flux me and nathan have been absolutely flossing flex in the gear the whole heavy. time we've nice been on flux. so go and have a look at the stuff it's 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 great stuff and uh like and subscribe you know what i mean like get subscribing I haven't got that many subscribers, but we've got quite a few views now. Get subscribing. No if, buts, or maybes. Do it. Uh, See you later.